What's up guys, it's me RS Xbox Kaka and today I'm bringing you guys my first ever squad builder. I felt that this team that I was using was an um, amazing team and I really needed to share this team with you guys. So um hope you enjoy it guys. Let me just get started. Okay, first off in go I had the gear. I mean um, most of everyone uses the gear but he's definitely one of those un not a lot used players if you know what I mean. He Definitely is one to have in your team. I'll definitely put him next to the pedestal as check. I mean, his reflexes and his diving is really good. I mean, he's definitely one to get those low shots or high top corner shots, and he's always ready on his toes. His kicking's not bad as well, is it? So I'll definitely say he's one to get. Um, for my first centre backs, I got Figueroa from Wigan. Um, I only got him for 750. Uh, coins he definitely is a player to get his pace is phenomenal and his defense is 76 which is something you really need when it comes to center backs in this game I mean a lot of people use fast strikers so if you have fast defenders as well you're sorted I mean he's heading his 74 for someone who's 5 foot 11 and you know it has a, pay, a lot of pace on him that's that's really good that's what you need when it comes to defending against these these fast strikers um, next to Figueroa, I definitely had to put Smolin in. Um, Smolin is another gem that's not really used a lot. Um, he definitely is a player to get. I mean, he's six foot four, and obviously that means his heading's gonna be brilliant. I mean, I would understand which heading wouldn't be brilliant with that height. But um, his defensive, his defense is eighty. That's really high for a rate seventy-eight rated player, and obviously his pace is seventy-four, which is amazing. That's remarkable for a six foot four guy. He was definitely someone I need to get. Um, I've seen, I've noticed a lot of the time I've been playing with these two. These two have been um, a great match together because I play this whole um, one tall, one short, one attack, one defense kind of thing. So I've got these two centre backs who obviously Smalling. He's got the height as well as pace, whereas Figueroa has mainly the obviously, pace that you need when it comes to being a centre back. So these two are a great match. One's kind of just holding back and one's attacking. Well, if you want to put it like that, one's going for it and one's holding back. Okay, and then left back, I got a Silkoto, which I can't say anything about him. He's a great player. He's got loads of pace and he's got loads of passing. When it comes to his dribbling, it's zone three, which I thought was really good, especially because I find myself a lot of the time kind of heading and driving down that wing and being able to put a ball in with a seal quarter, which um, is what you need to be able to do. You know, I've seen him overtake a lot of the um, builders and just going with the cross, which is what you need, guys. It's what is the best thing to do. I see. Um, his pace is 79, which I said again is a great thing to have in this game. You need him to be able to run from one end or the other without being touched. And that goes for the same with my next right back, who is a uh, never say this name. I think it's a Apilazikli Kuta. I can never say his name. Kuta. I can never. Say it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, whose pace was amazing. His passing was great, and his dribbling was 71, which. I thought, you know, um, it's, it's what you need again. You need someone who can run down the wing, you know, get past probably one guy, run down the wing, do a great one, two, you know, or put a great ball in. Because obviously he's passing 76, it's almost 80 guys. He can definitely pass, I can say that for sure. I, I can kind of put in, say he can definitely pass. I mean, I've played with this team quite a few times and I can say it's a great team. And also, um, it's correct. I only bought him for 650, so what a bargain! I mean, nothing else you could ask for. Okay, I'm going to right, left mid. Sorry, I got a Hoyler, who probably a lot of people use, but he's definitely underrated. I mean, for 750, there is nothing more that you can ask for. 750, you know, left mid 77. His pace is 91, his dribbling is 80, his shooting 72, and his passing 70. He's definitely clinical when it comes to attacking. He definitely is one to be careful of, and he's definitely one you guys should get. Because once once he gets in front of you, you're not gonna touch him. No defender will touch him, especially when it comes to people defending against people like Kyle Walker, who's the disgusting pace master. You definitely need someone who has equal amounts of pace or has more. And Hoyler is definitely the one to break down Kyle Walker's defensive pace. Definitely one to get good, guys. 
and like I said before, I do this whole kind of big small thing when it comes to my teams and I have Fletcher who are found to be a real rock in midfield. He definitely is one who can kind of get the ball, hold it, you know, fend off some d attackers and then, you know, release the ball on target. And that's why I've got this guy, Fletcher, he's 82 passing, you know, he's got 82 defence, 79 um, heading. That guy is strong, he's a tank in midfield and that's what you need. You need someone to be able to just make sure no one else gets the ball, I mean, or no one else gets the ball off him, sorry guys. But that's why I've got Fletcher in there, definitely is one to get, and I only got him for 450 guys, I mean, 80 is rated right 80 overall, I don't really pay attention to overall, it's what the player can do, I mean, our players are underrated in this game, and Fletcher is definitely the most underrated player, I mean, 405 coins guys, come on, what? come on. Okay, Anderson, like I said guys, I do this whole big smooth thing. Anderson is definitely the counterpart to my friend Fletcher over there. These two are pair in midfield. Anderson has the dribbling and the passing that you need for a midfielder. Like I said, Fletcher is that holding rock, whereas Anderson is the guy who moves forward a bit, brings the ball forward a bit, brings the play forwards a bit, and then releases it. And he's got the dribbling and the passing to be able to release it. And you should not worry about anyone closing him down because his pace is phenomenal. Um, you know, 78 for midfielder, that's good because he hasn't got a lot of space to run to anyway. He may be coming back, tracking back a few times, but he can definitely release the ball from midfield and get the ball in midfield and that pace. And only go for 600 coins, guys, another underrated player, which I definitely say you guys should definitely get. Okay, and because I was playing 4 4 1 1 formation, guys, you definitely made, make sure you have a centre forward. And for my centre forward, as we know, I've got, yes, that is him, Cessin Young. A lot of people do use Cessin Young, I have not much to say about Cessin Young. He is a menace when it comes to that attacking role. He can definitely cause some destruction up there. I mean, his weak foot ability is 5 stars, his skill is 4 stars. Pace is 85, dribbling is 85, you know, from my experience of Sassin Young, he's a beast, I mean, giving the ball outside the box and he'll take a shot on target, I mean, giving the ball in at the halfway line, he'll dribble past 4 or 5 people and then take a shot, that is Sassin Young for you guys, he's definitely one to get if you're playing this formation or just one in centre forward or in midfield guys, and next on the right mid, or right midfield, sorry, I've got Pennant, Jermaine Pennant, who is definitely underrated, I mean, got him for 400 coins, he's won, he has so much pace for him, FIFA is a lot about pace, it is about pace, and Pennant has that pace that you need, guys, he definitely can get past defenders, and he can put a great ball in, he's dribbling 80, so, you know, you shouldn't worry about him losing the ball with some over the bad touches because he has it under control and he's got it under control on that right side no one's gonna touch him guys so like I said this was my whole kind of midfield role I, I've played it seems like it's more of a midfield team however when you add um, Hernandez into equation when you've got Hernandez and Sesson Young kind of attacking these two alone are destructive and then Hernandez on his own, I got him for 1-3, which is really cheap, guys. I've seen loads of these, loads of Hernandez's. No one is using Hernandez. I'm surprised, guys, because his pace is phenomenal. His pace and his shooting and his heading, those three stats alone can get you loads of goals. I mean, everyone knows what Hernandez is like in the air. You give him in the air a nice little ball, he will definitely will finish it, guys. Don't give him a chance. And if he gets in front of you, he definitely will finish it, because that's Hernandez for you guys. 90 pace. Him and Sassignon are definitely two players to get for that attacking kind of position that you need, that attacking force that you need, guys. That was it. This is my team, guys. This team, like I said, is a really good team for someone who's just starting up or starting ultimate team or just wants to make another team because this team is... I guarantee it guys, amazing team, I mean, once you get used to them, the, once you get used to kind of running forwards with the wing backs and running forwards with the right mids, it's really destructive, like I said guys, you just, a lot of the time you don't even use Hernandez guys to be honest, because these guys on the wing, and Sesson Young, you'll be doing a lot of the stuff, and obviously you don't need to worry as much because of Fletcher, Fletcher is an amazing holding midfielder almost, he can definitely stay in that role and pick off anyone that comes into this area and definitely take off anyone that comes into the area. But I hope you guys enjoyed that guys, I'll be doing another squad builder at some point, I'll be doing uh, probably a 4 one 2 or 
a 4 for 3 squad builder, you know, for 10k. I um, hope you guys enjoy that. Like, rate, and comment, or subscribe, guys. Take care, yep. Laters. Bye.